Sublesson 17.1, Understanding Firewall Technology. There are two types of firewalls that you'll deal with, network firewalls and personal firewalls. The network firewall is a device that protects an entire local area network from intrusion. And you can see here in this little figure that there is a firewall separating the LAN from the internet. And the internet is depicted with a cloud. Generally, the firewall will connect to a switch, but it could be another device. One way or another, the firewall is going to pre protect that entire LAN. And when this is the case, the network administrator working on the LAN looks at the firewall as if it's a device that is behind the switch. That's often how it's referred to. So it's in between the LAN and the internet. Now that's a network firewall. But the personal firewall is a software that protects an individual computer from intrusion. And the personal firewall is usually software based. So it's part of Windows or it's a third party application. And uh, that firewall could be used by itself and the computer could connect directly to the internet or it could be used in addition to a firewall that's within a Soho four port router. And here we see that the computer with the built in personal firewall software is connected to a switch, could be connected to a router or what have you. So you can have personal firewalls as well. They're generally software based. And in this video, we're going to focus on the personal Windows firewall within Windows 7. You can open this in a variety of ways. Uh, you can go to the search field or you can navigate to the control panel and then go to Windows firewall. And if you're in category mode, you'd also click on system and security. Or you could go to the run prompt and type control space firewall .cpl. Let's demonstrate how to open the Windows Firewall and how to turn it on and off now. And we'll do this in the GUI and in the command prompt. Okay, so we're at the control panel in a Windows 7 computer. And from here, we would click on System Security, and that would lead us to the option for the Windows Firewall. Or if you're in the control panel in Icons mode, you would just go directly to Windows Firewall. And that would give you your various private and public firewall options. You could also open this from the run prompt. Again, with that syntax, control space firewall.cpl. And that'll bring up the Windows firewall in a separate window here. So from here, we can turn the firewall on and off. And if we look at the settings here, First of all, you're given the option to use recommended settings, which will turn the firewalls on. Windows will do that for you automatically. But you have two firewalls that we're interested in, the private firewall and the public firewall. The private firewall means it'll deal with data that's coming from computers within your local area network or from virtual machines within your local system. The public firewall means that it deals with connections out to the internet, any data that's transferred from the internet. So it could be that you want to leave the firewall privately uh, turned off so that other computers on the LAN can connect to you, but you'd probably want to have the public firewall turned on. And to modify those, we just go to turn Windows firewall on or off and click that link. And then we would select that here, turn on Windows firewall for private and turn on Windows firewall for public. And you have two options also. You have block all incoming connections, including those in the list of allowed programs, because we can allow specific programs here and also notify me when Windows Firewall blocks a new program. So you can make those modifications if you like. The way I want to have it set now is turn it on for the public, but leave it off for the private. So I'll click OK for that. And then you'll see here the private network is off and you see the red X. And the public networks is on, you see the green check mark. So that'll identify what state the firewall is in for private and for public. And that's basically how you work the firewall in the GUI section. 
Next, we're going to work in the command prompt. I'm going to leave the Windows firewall open and put it to the side here. And we'll bring up a command prompt in elevated mode, of course, as an administrator. And I'm going to go to the root so we have more space. And the command we're going to use here is netshell or netsh, the all-powerful netsh command. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the firewall on and off with the netsh command. Now, each of the public and private options here are known as profiles. The firewall can have different profiles. The private firewall profile, the public firewall profile, and there's also a domain firewall profile. And you can modify each of these from the netsh command. So let's do that now. First, I want to turn off all the firewalls, all the profiles firewalls. And to do that, we're going to do netsh space ADV firewall. That's basically advanced firewall. Space set space all profiles space state space off. So that's netsh adv firewall set all profiles state off press enter and it says okay <laughs> that's the only response you get and i like that i like simple responses notice that the public profile in the gui portion here in the windows firewall gui uh, portion of windows it turned to a red x because it was turned off so it actually updated that in real time when we did the commands and of course, to turn those back on, if we wanted to turn on all the profiles, we would do the same exact command, and I just up arrowed to it, but change the off to on. Press enter, OK, and you can see both were automatically turned on here in the GUI. And of course, your next question may be, well, I want to do one at a time. I just want to have maybe the private turned off and the public turned on. Well, they're both on right now, so if I want to turn off the private profile, I'll up arrow again, and I'll backspace out the all profiles and change that to private state off. So net sh adv firewall set private state off. Enter. It says OK. And that turned off the private profile, but the public profile was kept on. Finally, if you want to know what's happening with your various profiles, you could do the net sh adv firewall show all profiles command. That'll tell you about each profile. And we mentioned before, there is a domain profile as well, which is on right now. And we could turn that off if we wanted to with, these, uh, with the net sh command. We have the private firewall, which is off. And we have the public firewall, which is on. We can set various policies and rules. And we can set whether this is logged. There's a lot of things we can do with the firewall. And we'll do some of those in the uh, following sub-lessons when we work with the Windows firewall with advanced security. So there's a little bit about how to make modifications in the GUI and in the command prompt to the state of the various Windows firewall profiles.